So, so, so the Prophet Sallam's advice in getting married, what is the first thing you look at? You know, me and Butel were going to talk about this, but you know, the Prophet Sallam said that there's four things you should look into in a woman, and a woman should look into a man. You know, okay. you should look at the beauty, but beauty will fade. Yeah. You should look at uh, a person's status, so what family they come back from, and status will and, and statuses can increase and decrease. One day you're okay. honored, next day you could be disgraced. So okay. statuses vary. You should look at yeah. the the beauty, the status, the wealth, how well, wealthy that yeah. person is. Yeah. You know, maybe, but that can decrease. And the yeah. Prophet then you should look at character, the deen. Yeah. yeah. So the Prophet Islam said, look at all four. It doesn't mean you, don't, you shouldn't look at someone who's got money or hasn't got money or someone who's got a status and has it. No, you should do that. Of course, absolutely, Naseeb. But mm -hmm. the Prophet said, what should be given precedence and priority? Deen, Deen. character, Deen. your religion, how religious that person is. And that Naseeb is key, my brother. That is absolutely key. And when you look for a Rishta, you should look at that person. When we say religious, you know, some people might have beards, they might be practicing, <coughs> but their characters are appalling. They yeah. don't know how to treat their wives. Sadly, they don't know how to treat their wives. Or they wear hijabs, but they don't know how to treat their husbands. They practice. You know, it's, when we say deen, deen is character. You as a person, you read namaz, you read it for you and Allah. You don't read it for me. Yeah. You don't read it for my yeah. mother. You don't read it for anyone. Definitely. If you're not praying, Allah's going to ask you, why didn't you give me my right? That's my haq. My right Bilkul. was that you bow down to me and prostrate to me, my brother. Bilkul. Bilkul. Do you understand the scene? When I say my Bilkul. brother, I mean, I'm not paraphrasing anything, obviously talking to you. You know, welcome yeah, to yeah. that. Yeah, but, no, no, no. You know, we, 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 we've got to understand that, you know, that right is Allah's right. That's between you. But how your husband is with you and how your wife is with you, that's, that's not between you and Allah. That's more between you and your husband. How's your character? I know people who, who don't pray, but their marriages are bliss. Their marriages are bliss. Why, Naseeb? Because their characters are good. Religion is character, wow. spirituality is your character, my brother. It's how you yeah. are with people, how you deal. And if, if, you're, if you don't know how to deal with your wife or your children, what good are you? What good is your prayer? Your prayer is only for you and Allah then. But how are you? You know, the Prophet was the best to the women. He was best to yeah. his wives. He was best to his children. And that is what we need to uh, uh, you know, act upon the same. That's what we need to act upon the most. You know, that we... We act upon the character of the Prophet Sallallahu and We treat our women good. Give them time. Give, you know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, give your wife, dress your wife how you dress yourself. Feed your wife what you would feed yourself. Wow. What does that mean? If you're going to go out and have a good meal, make sure you give your wife a good meal as well. Wow. You know, where you live the high life and your wife doesn't have it, give your wife the right. But then you know what? You're a married man and, and I see married men and I stuff. You know, the, where the problems arise is that, you know, when they say, oh, the mother-in-law, the daughter, how do you balance? That balance yeah. is, is the man. It's the, you know, who has the greatest right over the husband? Who has the greatest right over the man? His mother. Who has the greatest right over the wife? The husband. Uh, so who's above? Can. Who's above? If I was to, like, put it into tears, you've got the wife. In terms of hukuk, husband. The husband's a man in terms of hukuk, not wife. Mother. mother. If that woman can understand the maqam of his mother, wallahi, that man will give that woman jannah. Wow. But people don't understand. That's powerful. That's you know, powerful. daughter in laws, daughter in laws have to understand, you know, she's your mother as well, mother in law. Understand yeah. what mother in law, she's your sus. She's now, treat her like you treat your own mother. Give her that respect. Definitely. Yeah. And you know what is girls today don't... Oh, my mother, she's a queen, but your mother, she's no queen. You know, come on. Give... You know, why Why is it one rule for your mother and one rule for mine? Give my mother the rights that you would give to your own mother. Well, how are you going to... What's the fastest way to a man's heart? Be good to his mother. But his mother. You only have one mother. If I'm not right to your mother, how are you going to be right to mine? I'm going to be right to your mother. She's my mother-in-law as well. I'm going to be good to her. And you're going to be good to her as well. Do you understand? And I can talk all night on this subject. You know, I'm not going to say i got experience or whatever, but, you know, <laughs> I, I can talk on this subject because... It's not the theoretical. Is, 
it's, it's, it's a big problem, Nasib. It's a big problem yeah. in houses. That are, it is. Divorce is high, my brother. Divorces are high in this country. Why? Because we don't know how to balance marriages. We don't know how to handle. We don't know how to. We don't know how to deal with it. We don't know how to manage marriage. You know, our mm -hmm. uh, the girls, their expectations are too high. You know, you've got so high expectations from your husband, but look at how your life was at your home. Wow. You know, now you demand. Why are you demanding so high? Why can't you be humble? Why can't you yeah. be grateful? Why can't you be patient? Why can't the man be understanding? That's for the woman. Why can't the man hey. be understanding? Loyal, loving, give loyalty to your wife, give love to your wife. You know, if you're loyal to your wife and your wife's loyal to you, you would never want to go out and look at another woman. Because you truly love. Problem is that loyalty is not there. So, wow. you know, and it's sad, you know, I've been through experiences. I've had a very recent experience and it was really sad. I got judged on, I got judged on my past and I wasn't given a rishta. I'll be very honest, my brother. Yeah. And it's uh, sad. It's sad people do that to people. I'm not a bad guy. I've not done what's been alleged and accused of me, my brother. I'm, I practice my deen. My mother's my whole life. I, I look after my family. I'm a family man. I, I, I've been practicing all my life. That's all I've done. Never studied. Yes, I'm a bit more chilled out than people would presume and understand because that's just the way I am. You know how I am. I'm very easy. Yeah. I don't like to yeah. impose on people. I don't like to force on people. I like yeah. to give dawah in a way that will welcome people in a, in a manner that's good. But it's sad Definitely. people don't, you know, um, there'll be a religious guy that will be there in front of you and what they'll say, oh, it's kika rishta deniyo. It's ne pasi koni. It's ne kol heni, honi. Allah na fazlo karam, Allah's given us everything. But he hasn't got this, he hasn't got that. What sort of nonsense is that, man? Who are we to judge that's and deceive someone? You know, are you... Are you worried about your daughter's akhirat or are you worried about your daughter's dunya? Yes, dunya oh. which rena. Yes, you got to live in the dunya. But one day you're going to die. You want it to be your wife in paradise. Relig your marriage should be found upon the marriage. Our marriages should be found upon Islam. If the first day of your marriage, after your nikah, there's bangra blasting, music and this, that and you the nasib. You know, what, how are you starting this this holy matrimony? Holy matrimony? What, how are you starting it? Why? What's what is this? You know, wow. where, where in Islam is this? And then we say, oh, umre par Okay, I'm not judging. I'm not, I'm not saying that's bad or right or wrong. But oh, come on, man, stick to one. You understand? Mm. Stick to one try. Don't you know we try to find these balances? Oh, you know, they... come on. If you're gonna udhulufi sil mikafa, Allah said in the Quran, enter this religion entirely. Don't be part timers. Take my sister, you will look good with the hijab on. Try it. Slowly you come. My brother, the beard will look beautiful on you. Try it. Oh. Why? Why? Who's more beautiful than our Nabi and Sayyidah Fatima? Alayhi salatu wa salam Try it man Why can't we go back to the sunnah Why can't we go back to the Quran Why can't, why can't we Why can't we make Why can't You know what There's a buzzin being simple The buzzin yeah. being simple Is next level In the in a, yeah. in a day of In an age of extravagance Simplicity is bliss Razka's gonna copy this And put his quote there yeah But in an, in an age of extravagance <laughs> Rosima might be listening as well. You know, you know they love their quotes, don't they? <laughs> yes, salam. Mashallah, mashallah, very true. Mashallah, can't carry on, mashallah. You get the joke, don't you? Put the comments on the mic. Comment, you never know, but let's see what they're saying. <laughs> oh, shalom. Oh my God. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Tell him, made you laugh in it. It definitely. <laughs> you know they, they, they you know they have, you know they have serious wars done to it about quotes. <laughs> <laughs> well, <coughs> oh, 
Alhamdulillah, I've made my night. My point is in an age of extravagance, in an age of being so extravagant, in an age where it's all about, oh, I've got to prove I, I landed in a Lambo to pick my wife up. You know, I got I got a Rolls Royce Wraith out. I got a ghost out. You know, come on, man. Okay, all right, you got a ghost. No problem. You got the money. You want a nice car. Good. MashaAllah. I'm, I'm not going to knock that. Yeah. But then you've thrown your dad's hard earnings, 40, 50, 60 grand into a wedding bee. Yeah. I believe and in, in that. the end, yeah. you know, and, and what happens? Go back to simplicity, man. So not just Hadada, Lenga, Lainos. Imagine that. To go back to the Sadgi. You know, yeah. there'll be so much baraka in there. The ones that people that love you bring them. Don't call the, every man and his dog with him. That's true. You're right. 100%. Yeah, you know how it is, Nasib, man. Why? Go back to simplicity, yeah. my brother. We need yeah. to go back to simple. And you know, and that's, that's I agree. something that we, we honestly need to just Completely, we just need to go back to let's 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 go back to the Sunnah. Man. The Prophet yeah. sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet sallam didn't say don't pay pesa na lau khane par awlama bisha awlama. The Prophet said do walima walima karo lokangi blau rishudana ki blau bau shadi ho yeh nani. Elan karo walima na the maksad hai elan karo. Yes, do elan. Walau bisha even if it's with a go, even if yeah. you only can afford a go, ik any ke rang. Kisma ni kisma. But you know what it is? Asa, you know the sad thing is the Shiva Buddha. The sad reality is this. Asa, we live in a world. Musal ne. Oh, Mariti, Imam nal shadi kiti hai. Loke kya aksan asa ki? Loke asa ki kya baasan? If lan. That's no daddy. I'll tell you myself. I'm telling you. From my own experiences, my brother. They judge you so badly. Dunya kya aksi? Banda kya aksi asa ki? Khuda na khof karo. Do you live for people? The same people you are living your entire life to please and be happy with, they don't care about you. And they don't care about you. They don't. They don't want nothing to do with you, my brother. They don't care whether you whether you eat two times a day or three times a day, whether you've got a thousand people at your wedding or you've got ten people at your wedding. You should look at what's mm. in the best interest of your of your dean. Very good. Hundred percent. I agree. 100%. You know, and well, Wallahi, I, I, I don't go into it, you know, obviously I've had a bit of time out, but if I went, you know, I could talk on these issues, believe you me, because it's but Imam, Sahib, Imam Sahib, shall I be honest with you now, and you need to do something about this now. Honestly, look, people are loving you. Masha, there's 700 people watching us today. That's, I think, the, uh, other than, other than Sufyan's live, this is probably one of my most ever lives now, yeah? Zahid, but the people want to listen to you, Imam Sahib. And I think this, it comes down to your fault as well, because I think there's laziness from your part as well. And I think... Oh, you know, I mean, I'm not sure how many people are in the world. I don't know how many people are in the world. But Mehran Shah Sahib, my name is Peer Sahib, my name is Peer Sahib, my name is Peer Sahib, my name is Peter Sahib. He said, there's a video as well, that the one who is in the world, he's saying that he's in the world. जिन्हें <laughs> <laughs> Rahmatullah, 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 Allah give him high place in Jannah, man. The great, great Sayyid Nasiruddin Nasir Shah Sahib. Nasir Millat Rahmatullah, a man who spoke the truth. He said it as it was. If he doesn't say it as... Look at the gigi here, that Shah Sahib came to the world to pray for him again. If Shah Sahib was here today, in a fear, he doesn't have any fear. No fear to any of these fear, Wallahi al-Azim. But coming back, coming back to the point of you know, this issue on marriage, my brother, Wallahi al-Azim, Wallahi al-Azim, is sad. It's absolutely sad. He might be a good rich man, but they'll frown on him. Oh, because of, look at his past, man. They'll judge, man. Why? Why have we become so judgmental as people? We live our life to show what's next man going to say. Do you fear Allah? You know, Sayyidina Bilal was dragged in the streets of Medina, Mecca. Sayyidina Ammar bin Yasin was tortured. Sayyidina Uthman, Sayyidina 
عبد الرحمن بن عوف سيدنا ابو بيضه بن الجراح سيدنا زباري بن العوام سيدنا طلح they were all tortured for islam they didn't say dunya ke aksi they said we are here to please allah and his rasul if we please allah and his rasul that's it that's all we want we just want to please allah and his rasul mari me ja ahad ahad one one like leave your religion never why they didn't think what are people going to say what status will they have you know look at that sahabi his name was julaylib sayyidina julaylib you mean he, he was short in stature he wasn't the best looking he was not handsome at all he, and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to like him they gave him time as a julaylib was his time i want everyone listening to listen to this as a julaylib was this companion the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam loved him but nobody in society liked him everyone frowned on him everyone hated him because he was ugly he wasn't the best looking he he didn't have you know there was nothing special about him he was like from the low end of society and the community and that allahu akbar when azra julaylib radiyallahu ta'ala an he wanted to get married but nobody would marry him because he wasn't good looking he didn't have munna he didn't have a status he didn't have nothing the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said get married he said ya rasul nobody will marry me look at me look i'm alone i have nobody one day nabi alayhi salatu wassalam went to a person's house in ansari affluent rich ansari in that and the prophet alayhi salatu wassalam said to that family that i've got a rishta for you the prophet sallam said this and the man the husband got so happy ki ya rasul yo come to ask for a rishta said no no not me there's somebody else there's a rishta that i've got for you allah akbar they said they said i'll tell you who it is and he said that i'm going to go when the prophet sallam told him that is julaylib he said i can't i'm not going to let my daughter marry him look at him wow he goes i'm going to speak to my wife let me discuss it mushri on in the mushri so they had a discussion They go, Yar Rasulullah, we can't marry our daughter. We can't marry our daughter to Julaylib. Look at Julaylib; he's not the best looking. Look at us; we've got money, everything. But it is a real issue in the time of our Akka Ali Salatu Salam. Look at that man; real life issues. Wow. They're, they're not they don't. Wow. No. When the Prophet Sallam came and they said, "What do you say?" They said, "No." You know, the daughter walked out, and he said to the parents, "How honored are we?" that nabi ali salam come to our house and offered me this rishta of julaylib wa 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 she goes wow. i'll marry him i'll marry him i'll marry him because the prophet wow. came and wow. i'll marry him so they got married as a julaylib the next day went into battle he got martyred when he got martyred there were seven mushrikeen bodies around his body The Prophet ﷺ ran around, went around the battlefield. Sahaba said, "What are you doing, Ya Rasulullah? Who are you looking for?" He says, "I'm looking for Julaylib." Said, "Why? Look at him, Ya Rasulullah. He, he was he was in the low end of our society. He wasn't big." The Prophet ﷺ said, "Look how great Julaylib is. Look at the greatness of this man. The seven bodies of the mushrikeen he fought on his own. Look how small he was." The Prophet ﷺ then shrouded him. They dug the grave and they put Sayyidina Julaylib into the ground. They buried him with his, their own blessed hands. Allahu Akbar. Allah and you look Allah. at society today. Oh, what's man gonna say about me? When they marry us, what's the matter? Ti yani ke he ya ho hai. Sad, sad state of affairs. Are we following the Sunnah of our Nabi Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or are we bothered more about the dunya sa ki kaxi? Khuda na khuf karo. Who do you fear? Allah? Do you fear people? You're more worried about people than you are about Allah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't. This wasn't the way of our Nabi Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This wasn't the way of our Nabi Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, my brothers and sisters, this is my humble advice. I'm nobody, but you know, I, 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 I've been through these problems. I've seen these issues. I share. I can share so many of these. You know, and I, I've seen. I've experienced. You know, you want to marry someone and they don't let you marry him because of what your past or. because of this or because of that that's not nice it's not nice but allah is the best of planners he sees everything 
He knows everything. He knows what's in our hearts. We live for Allah. We live for His Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We we wanna we wanna live a good life. We wanna be righteous. That's what we wanna do. We don't. We're not. We know we make mistakes. We do tawbah. We ask Allah to forgive. Allah gives us opportunity. If we live for Him, we don't care what people say. Definitely. We live for Allah, man. We live for if, who are you living for, man? Ask yourself. Why are you worried about what dunya will say? You know, it's it's sad, man. It's sad. It's absolutely sad. Nasib, the mentality of sometimes parents, sometimes children, it's a sad reality, man. How they just, it's all about, Bandak actually, what's next man going to think of me? Why don't you for one think, what's Allah going to think of me? How am I in the presence of Allah? Because you know what, in the end, that is what matters. Nothing else. Nothing else. 100%. Imam Sahib, what about people who, for example, have this caste issue? And they don't even marry. What's the bias on that? So, you know what it is. I I say simply about this caste issue and these things that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, look for four things. What's the most important aspect that you should look for? Deen, deen, character and deen. Yeah. If the character is good, it doesn't matter about the caste. If a person yeah. is religiously, if he has a good religious character, proper character, <coughs> then he look after yeah. you and your fam family and children and everything. That's what it is. That's the key, my brothers. Don't look at caste. Oh, me jata or raja, or me chodriya ta or bands ta, or me chodriya ta or kasvian. You know, oh, they're a lower caste. Why? I've just told you the answers in what I've just told you. <coughs> if it's yeah. a good rishta, you know, say that, say that. رضي الله تعالى عنها أم سيدة أم أيمن very famous name who's Um Ayman you might as well take the comments off a lot of them are saying turn the comments I'm, off no, I'm, I'm, I'm blocking them as we, I'm blocking them as we go it's fine I'm blocking them as we go anyway it's fine they, they've Sayyidah commented Ayman, once they won't comment again that's it Sayyidah Um Ayman was the slave of Sayyidah Abdullah okay the Prophet's father she okay. was then given to Sayyidah Amina okay. when Sayyidah Amina passed away Sayyidah Um Ayman and the Prophet were with her رضي الله تعالى عنها سيدة آمنة. and the Prophet told them obviously they did the rista. they they know سيدة أم آمنة then look after the Prophet and some bought them up. when the Bilal Salam came to Medina they they asked the Sahaba who wants to marry a woman from Paradise and she was a black slave woman old now. wow. so in terms of caste, in terms of caste, in terms of status, it was different. so Sayyidah Umm Ayman radiyallahu ta'ala anha Who wants to marry a woman from paradise? Sahaba said, we marry her. Said, who wants to marry this black woman, Umm Ayman? She was my mother after my mother. Who wants to marry this woman? And Sayyidah Zaid bin Harissa goes, Ya Rasulullah, I'll marry her. Sayyidah Zaid himself was dark. His complexion was dark. Umm Ayman was old and dark. They got married. When they got married, they had a son called Usama bin Zaid. Who commanded the Muslim army at the age of 18, and he had Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Umar inside his army as well. Wow. <coughs> wow. Allah wow. Akbar. Allah Akbar. Akbar. This is the maqam, <coughs> this is the maqam of Sayyidina Umm Ayman. Maqam of Sayyidina Zayd bin Harissa, Sayyidina Usama bin Zayd. Radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. This was their maqam. So, yeah. It's very important, very important to understand that we shouldn't look at castes, we shouldn't look at these things. We should give consideration to a person's religion and deen. How is their deen? What is their character like? If the deen and character is good, then by all means, go for it. This is the best way, Nasib. And this is my yeah. advice. Of course, we've got to, there are things, you know, the al kufr bil kuf that, you know, you've got to have, they're like sort of equal in status and these things you've got to look at. You know, where she's on a, she's a, a doctor, and he's a, a farmer, for example. You have to have, there's got to be some sort of understanding at least there. She's educated. Yeah. It's good to marry your son or daughter to someone who's educated. Munasib rishta. But the folk here, yeah. what should we give emphasis is character and religion. That's the most important thing, Nasib. That's the most important. Okay. And where is interracial marriages, marrying a white person, marrying a black person, marrying Bengali. You know, we've got to get rid of these cultural stereotypes. Look at the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They married, yes. Sayyidah Maria Kiptiya. 
she was a Christian slave girl who Christian. became free, right? Yeah. The Mary Sayda Zainab bint Jahsh, or the uh, Sayda uh, Sayda Zainab, the uh, Sayda Safiya, Sayda Safiya bint Hayy al Akhtab. She was a Jewish woman who became Muslim. Take Sayda Safiya. Then the Mary Sayda uh, Sayda uh, Hafsa and Sayda Aisha, who were young in age. And said that Hafsa and said that Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anuma, they were Nabi Salam's best, best friend's daughters. Sina Umar's daughter, yeah. Sina Abu Bakr's daughter, respectively. Then they married a woman that was 15 years older than them. Sina yeah, Khadija radiallahu ta'ala. Nabi Salam broke all stereotypes. Say that Sada oh, wow. was a divorced woman. So marry a divorced woman. Marry a woman with pre children from a previous marriage. Marry a woman who's, say that Sada, uh, uh, a woman. Who, uh, who, uh, so marry a woman who's older than you, no harm in that. Marry a woman who's younger than you, no harm in that. Look, the Prophet ﷺ broke these stereotypes that we have. <clears throat> yeah. And that's no, why no. it's important that we, we revive the Sunnah and go back to the way of the Prophet ﷺ. <laughs> uh, Imam Sabat, you know, mashallah, like, wallahi, it's like, it's been an hour or so since we've, mashallah, talking. It's just blind by, and I, I think after this coronavirus goes off the scene, Imam Sab, we're gonna get together and do something. We need to do something. Uh, and nice. I think nice. the people, uh, it's been a bit too low. It's been, it's, it's, you've had, you've, you've had your time out now. You've done what you've done. You've done what you've said, mashallah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's time that you come back onto the scene now, and you, and you make a difference to people's lives as well, inshallah. And you know, a lot of people can can do with your advice, and a lot of youngsters do still look up to you. Without a shadow of a doubt, like Alhamdulillah, the Hak Mehfil last year, Wallahi, you know, we were, we were discussing, I was discussing this bit too as well. That Imam Adad, even though he was there with us and he did a very fiery speech, when I mean a fiery speech, he was shaking, bro. <laughs> I can remember him, you know, like he was shaking, bro. I can remember him, you know, but you know, but you know, definitely here, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. And Hak Mehfil for us, like last year, last, last year, which is two years ago, we had people messages saying, you know, who was that guy, man? Like, for people who don't know you, <clears throat> the, the Bazurg, for example, they were saying, like, you know, that speech is And Imam 